Hi, I've just made this short video, uh, of a little sequence that I call a three minute practice. Um, I developed this sequence to try and help people to get rid of their aches and pains of everyday life that people tend to get when their bodies stiffen up a little and also to help particularly sports people with injuries avoiding injuries I should say so I'm going to run through the moves in sequence one by one and then I'm going to finish the video by going through it without the instruction just so that you can see the moves and see how it fits in to three minutes. Once you accept this, hopefully you will do it every day. Three minutes a day out of your life will be well worth the effort to avoid aches and pains and unnecessary injuries. So I'm going to move on to my mat now and we'll start the demonstration. So assuming that we do this first thing in the morning, which is the best time to do it when your body is stiff after a night's sleep, or sometimes it's stiff, let's slowly just take three easy stretches. So we're soft, growing into our stretch, reach up, align, and lower on and out. Two more of those. Sometimes it's quite nice to close your eyes. ready you're feeling better you have oxygen in your lungs so your brain is more active make sure your feet are parallel slightly bend your knees and just relax forward take it slow and easy just allowing your spine to lengthen into this straighten one leg and bend. Straighten the other leg and bend it. Now straighten both legs. Let the spine lengthen a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Bend the knees. Slowly, slowly unfold. Slowly straightening the knees when you unroll the neck. Think of alignment, crown of head facing the ceiling. Turn around just so that you can see the side bends. Feet hip width apart, parallel. We're going to lift the left arm up. Stretch into it. As you stretch up, relax the right arm. So it feels like a diagonal stretch. High as you can reach. Now nice and easy on an out breath. Just ease over to the right. 
Keep the right shoulder relaxed. Let that flow through the arm, the hand, the fingers. Finally, let the head release a little. It's not completely relaxed. But it's certainly soft and easy. Stretch out to the right. Now just the arm lifting up. Reach up. Right shoulder still relaxed. Keep stretching up as you rebuild the spine, coming back to a straight line. And lower on the out breath. Let's try that on the other side. So now right arm lifting. Stretch up. As you stretch up, relax left shoulder, arm, hand bit more reach up, now relaxing over to the left. Just imagine the spine opening every joint on the right hand side. Left side, compressing, cleansing. Stretch out, raise that right arm up. Keep the left one relaxed, stretch up, feel the spine rebuilding from the base upwards. Keep reaching up as the spine comes back to a straight line. And lower. Spine energizing. Raise the arms to shoulder level. Let's think about shoulders. Stretching the arms out, separating shoulder blades. Now spread the arms wide. Feel the chest opening, the shoulders opening, shoulder blades squeezing together. So lots of movement in shoulders there. Keep the hips pointing forwards. Now slowly turn to the right. So the waist turns, the chest, the shoulders, the head. Stretch out and ease your way back. And release. Let's try that on the other side. Lift. Stretch out. Spread wide. Feel the chest opening, shoulders rolling back, shoulder blades moving. Keep the hips facing forward. Turn from the waist, the chest, the shoulders, the head. Little stretch out. Slowly back to the middle. Don't hurry. Release. Turning sideways again so that you get a better view. It's called Yoga Mudra with a forward bend. This time it's a different forward bend. It's a straight, strong spine. We're lifting the chest up, rolling the shoulders back, straightening the arms if you can. The straighter the arms, the more comfortable the posture is going to be. So try and, if you can't straighten the arms, practice this move all different times during the day, while you're waiting for the kettle to boil, while you're waiting for the telephone to ring. Any free moment, practice this move. Now we move on from there, stick the tailbone out, aim the chest forward. Keep the back of the head in line with the spine. Edge out the heels just slightly so the outside edges of the feet are parallel. Try not to bend the spine. Slowly deepening, deepening. When you can't go any further, let the head relax. 
So now the shoulders can rotate. Straighten the arms. More rotation you're going to get. Three breaths. Coming up, same in reverse order. So we unroll the head, the shoulders, the chest, straight spine, back of head, in line with the spine. Push through the fist, slowly back up. Release the hands, the shoulders a little roll if you want to. And then let's bring in a back bend. Raising the arms up, keep them soft, fluid, stretching up, reaching into the air above you. When the arms are alongside the ears, lift the rib cage. Let the shoulders ease back a little. Arms are soft, even though they're stretched, it's coming from the core. Now, Hips easing forward, chest lifting up towards the ceiling, easing into your back bend. It needs to be a natural back bend. Nothing forced, but be patient, give it time to go to its full strength. Open the legs, draw back the hips, stretch the arms up, head between the arms, and lower on an out breath. We're going to take the feet a little bit wider now, and turn the toes out. So if you were looking at the clock, your feet would be pointing to 10 to 2. Or thereabouts. Again, let's raise the arms, let's stretch forward to separate the shoulder blades, bend the knees, point them same direction as the toes. So if you need to ease the heels in a little more, if your hips are flexible, you might need to do that. Stretch forward and slowly release down. Head releases, sweep the arms up, three breaths, if you can, sink on the out breath, stretching the inner thighs a little more with each breath. Unroll the head, release the arms, reach out, imagine you're picking up a football, reach for it, it's just out of reach. Slide the hands underneath, push through the knees, all the way back up. Full stretch and reach. Do a little balance now, balance, very strengthening, very calming, very focusing, so good for concentration, slowly, coming up, onto toes, try and hold the full stretch for a few seconds, full of breath. When you need to breathe out, slowly lower. Try and come down the same pace as you went up. Two more. Full stretch, including the fingers. No 
her on the out breath and you feel the need to breathe out. Last one. like to try one more balance this time on one leg just to get you used to balancing on one leg very simple constantly moving as we breathe in we're lifting right leg up and both arms to the ceiling as we breathe out we're lowering The leg. Let's do it once more. And once more for luck. Nice and easy. Now stretch up, feet close together, parallel, hands in the Premudra, Anjali Mudra. Think about alignment, hips level, shoulders level, crown of head facing the ceiling. Slowly release the hands down. Pause at the forehead. Take a breath. Focus your mind. And then down to the heart center. One more breath. Affirmation here. My heart center is balanced. I give and take in equal measure. Obeying the rhythm of life. Om Shanti. So that is the sequence. Obviously, you're thinking now. Well, that isn't three minutes. But while I'm explaining it to you, it obviously takes longer. So I'm just going to go through it now as I would in the mornings so that you can see that the timing may be a bit over three minutes, but it's roundabout. I'm going to turn sideways on. And I'm just going to do the sequence straight through without talking.
center is balanced, as we can take a neat formation. This is the rule of life, and I'm happy with it. Thank you. So you see, this is simple sequence that contains all stretches, forward bend, backward bend, twists and alignment. So your body is going to be kept strong. Supple, and the energies will be free flowing. What I'd like you to do is to do that little sequence every day, and then when we meet again, we'll see how it's going, and we will add one of the basic postures of yoga. So thank you for listening and watching. Hope to see you soon. Om Shanti.